Do Not Neglect Deep Study By Eric William King Christians are living in a time of great revelation and light from God's word. We are to remain teachable, we are not to fall asleep. Most churches have become Laodicean and need to heed the counsel to that church. Sadly, many Christians are ignoring the details of God's word, they only want surface knowledge. This is spiritual laziness. God informs us, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hosea 4 6 What knowledge? True spiritual knowledge. How can you tell the difference between truth and error if you do not carefully study the truth? Apostle Paul stated, Ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Increasing in the knowledge of God. Colossians 1 9 Today many Bible teachers present things that to many appear to be true, but the things that they teach are simply not found in the Word of God. Much that is called biblical truth is false and is presented by the enemy, Satan the devil. The path of error contains just enough truth to be deceptive and those who do not know God's word are deceived. Spiritualistic teachings have invaded the church and many churches who say that they have light are actually in great darkness. Neglect to investigate for oneself is part of the problem. We are commanded by God's word to test the spirits because many false teachers are among us. 1 John 4 1, many people today are giving what they call prophecies which are filled with sensationalism. Everybody wants to know just what is to happen next. Here we must be careful. Pure and undefiled religion is found in God's word and in his word alone. The true church of God has been warning about the false teachings and will continue to do so. There is new light and we are constantly learning but be not deceived, truly know your heavenly Father's word. Jesus tells us, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8 31 32 The scriptures give us wisdom and encouragement. We should have a personal commitment to a daily reading and studying of our Bible. We should be able to change false views that we have held to for a long time in order to accept and stand for the truth of God's word, especially in these last days. May you continue in prayer with God and in the study of his word. By Eric William King, June 6, 2024